Hey, what's going on Facebook? Eddie Harvey here. Hey, want to talk to you all really quickly. Uh, this is not going to be too long. I just want to talk to you all about um, uh, something really quick about building an email list. Should you build your email list or should you send people directly to your offer? And now for some people, this is going to be kind of, uh, I guess, common sense if you are familiar with marketing and building a business online. But uh, for some people, they don't know. And for some people that are new, uh, they might be curious as what's the best route to go because sometimes I think people feel like uh, You know going straight to an Offer is going to get them a, a result right away and You know they and the reason the reason I'm talking about this is because I was chatting with a young lady on Facebook This was a, a while ago. I, I chatted with a young lady and you know, I asked her, you know I saw her page and everything. I asked her. I said, why are you? you know through our chat jock t morris stg what's going on brother um through our chat i asked her hey cassandra i said why 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 are you sending people i noticed you're sending people directly to your your uh your website to your offer why are you not generating leads and she's like oh i tried generating leads before just sending people directly to my offer uh oh man you you know it man always always but uh you know she told me it works better for her and you know that was just a cop out and i was trying to engage in conversation with her. and she you know she really wanted to talk but that was just a cop out because i think it was because she really didn't know anything about list building you know i've never heard anyone say uh because this just sending people directly to my offer works better for me that's that's just a cop out meaning you really don't know a lot about list building and you don't know how to properly build a list and like I said, I tried to engage in more conversation with her and she didn't want to, you know, but anyway, whatever it is, what it is. So I tried to help her, but you know, that's neither here nor there. So I felt it was something I just wanted to talk about and maybe some people do not know is that it's almost time for bedtime. Yes. Okay. Um, some people don't know is that you always, as Jock T. Morris just said, you always build your list, always. Your leads, your list is the lifeblood of your business. And there are several reasons why you want to build a list. You never want to send someone directly to an offer because nine times out of ten, they are not going to buy from you right away. They, they're just not. You may look up and get a sale or something here or there. And, you know, unless it's somebody you're on the phone with and you're walking them through to place an order, that's the only time. Even if it's someone you meet, whether you're, you're prospecting somebody and you want them to take a look at your presentation, you're prospecting them maybe offline and you give them a, a link to go to your website to, to look at your, your presentation, even online, you send someone directly to a presentation. You never want to do that. You want to always make sure that they're opting in and getting on your list. You know, obviously you're giving them something of value in exchange for uh, you, uh, their name and email. So even if it's someone for, you know, you want to take a look at your business opportunity, you send them to a lead capture page and on that lead capture page, it can be something as simple as, Learn how you can make an additional $500 to $1,000 per week, part-time, and only two hours per day. You know, that's still value. You're gonna, that's what they're going to learn how to do, right, with your opportunity. But now you've generated that lead because on average, guys, it takes seven times for someone to see an offer before they make a buy-in decision, before they possibly decide to, to buy from you, before they decide to join your opportunity why because in that time frame why does it take seven times i don't know why that's the magic number but that's in pretty much any business i used to sell cars and they told us the same thing it's about seven points of contact and part of that being is because in that time frame i guess it's the it's the magic time frame where in a, a relationship is built where you're establishing that relationship with a person to get them to know like and trust you see because people People join people, people buy from people. It don't matter about the company, the product or service can be subpar or whatever, but if that person knows, like, and trusts you, sees value in you, they'll do business with you. So that's what it boils down to is having that relationship and building a list allows you to have that relationship to where it can be someone who, who could be rushing out of the house to go pick up their kids like a lot of people are often doing or forget they got to do something and they come upon your link they click on your link that they saw somewhere, and if it's taking them directly to a website, they're going to forget they, they were on your site. They click out, and now they're going to go back and just type in the name of the company or something and then go do their research there. They're not going to go look in your, for your specific site that, that's now gone off of their computer versus had you given them a lead capture, it been a lead capture page they went to, put in their name and email, gave them value. Now they're opted in and they're seeing the information. Now you can build that relationship on the back end, which is so key. Now you can follow up with them and you can be the person that 
that their eyes are always meeting with, their content is always popping up in their email where you're sending them information about your product, about your opportunity, uh, giving them value, free tips, strategies, maybe a coupon offer, whatever it is, inviting them to webinars, to hangouts, to conference calls. You're constantly in their face when they're on your list. And when they're on your list, guess what? There's only a, a few things they can do. They're either gonna A, buy from you, uh, B, uh, wait, wait, either join your company, buy your product or service, stay on your list, or opt out. Those are the only options they have. And you got some people, they'll stay on your list for years. I know I still have people on my list for years. It takes that time for some people before they just enjoy reading and opening your content. It's just some people that are like that, but you never know. They may one day eventually decide to decide to, to lock arms with you. And, you know, what it also does is that you might change opportunities. You might decide whatever you're doing at that time is not a great, uh, you might decide to move on to something different, or maybe you're just promoting something different. And guess what? Whatever you're marketing and promoting, if this person has built that relationship of trust and established that with you, it might be another offer or another company that you're, that you're, um, decide that you you want to uh that you're building and they might lock arms with you and jump in with you and that company instead it's happened to me it's happened to so many other people but if you're not building that list if you're just sending people directly to an opt-in offer i mean directly to an offer directly to your sales page they're gonna they're, that's not gonna work well that's not gonna work out well for you so if you're doing that stop doing it you need to you need to get a lead capture page. You need to start building a lead capture page. Now, you might be saying, well, I don't know anything about lead capture pages. I don't know how to set up a lead capture page. What do I do? You need a lead capture page. You need an autoresponder. You need a compelling offer. Those are the three things that you need. And if you don't know anything about that, you know, I have some tools and trainings. If you're watching this, uh, just reach out to me. You can inbox me or, you know, um, comment on my video, guys, and I can definitely point you into the to the right place to get resources uh, for you to do that. So, a matter of fact, I'm actually going to uh, do a blog post, and in my blog post, I'll put the resources to where you can now get access to tools that will help you start generating leads. Because if you're just out here, and I see pe people doing it every day, and then for some people, it's to no fault of their own. They don't know any better. You need to be generating your own leads, going to your own lead capture page and not to your company's lead capture page. If you have a, you might say, I have a company replicated capture page. No, nah, you wanna get your own capture page because even with those leads, they're going into your company system and you don't own those leads, your company owns them. So, you know, if you ever left that company, that leads, those leads are gonna stay with them. And, you know, and not saying nothing's wrong with that because you still got leads you can follow up with, but there are so many tools that's easily accessible that will allow you to build your own list and generate your own leads. And now you can position yourself as an expert and build that relationship. So it's very important, guys. Always build a list. Always build a list. Uh, whatever piece of content you have, even if you have your blog, if you have a blog, some of you all do not have uh, lead magnets or opt-in pages on your blog. You was doing a video on this and your mom called, oh, man. Well, make sure you redo that video, Cassandra. Get it out there, seriously, because we need to let people know. You know, we need to let people know. So, you know, it's, it's that important. Andre, what's going on, man? Uh, but um, it's, it's that important that, you know, I see people with blogs, have great blogs, a lot of content on their blog, but they're not capturing any leads. So if you're getting traffic, getting people over to your blog, your blog is your home online. You need to have a lead magnet on your blog. It can be in the sidebar. It can just be a little opt-in right there, but that's very important, guys. So you need to be generating leads with all your pieces of content, whatever you're doing, it needs to be pointing back to a lead capture page or to uh, a blog with a lead capture page on it. So because, like I said, people are not going to buy right away. People need time. People, You want to establish that relationship of the no like, and trust factor. And from there, you can now market and promote to them every single day, which you should be doing, emailing your list on a daily basis. But uh, yeah, never just send people directly to an offer. So that's what all I have for you guys today. I hope you got value from this. Like I said, you can reach out to me if you need resources on how to set up uh, to start generating leads, but I'm also gonna do a blog post and uh, I'll put that link uh, down in the comments to where you can get uh, tools to help you start generating your own leads today. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm about to grab me a quick bite to eat. And uh, after that, man, uh, I will talk to you guys. Uh, yeah, that's it for tonight. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, you all have a great evening and then, you know, just go out there and start 
getting yourself some leads, guys, doing the things you got to do, build your list. All right, talk to you later. Take care. Have a great day.